going into Soul, Capricorn. We're going to look at some energies for you starting uh, October 17th and ending um, October 23rd, 2022. Of course, you know, it's for um, Capricorn suns, moons, rising singles, couples, Venuses, same-sex loving energies. My fellow Cappies, I hope all is well. This week, I did switch it up a little bit. I changed decks. Uh, I wanted to use this new deck that I received, and this is the Disney uh, villain deck, <laughs> cartoonish. But um, I like the uh, characters here. I don't know and remember all the characters from the movies. So if you do and, you know, whatever card is selected for you, just, you know, throw in a comment. Let me know. All right. So uh, to compliment your readings here, we're going to be um, throwing some Kipper cards and also a couple cards from the Money, Finance, Career, Oracle deck. All right. So let's get into the energies for Capricorn. What's going on here for Capricorn? This is all potential and, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest alone for entertainment purposes only. All right. So let's begin here, Capricorn. See what's going on here for you. All right. So your story is going to begin with the very first card and we open up with the Eight of Swords, okay? After the Eight of Swords here, feeling like you're trapped, worried, nervous about something. Uh, things turn out to be all right anyway because the sun here is the major arcana that follows. Then we have the Emperor, which you're going to be in control. It's the card of authority. We also have the moon. Someone goes deeper in terms of their feelings or emotions or expressions towards you, or you could be doing that to them. Uh, pay attention to your intuition as well. There we go. The Knight of Cups, that is the person that I just referred to, okay? So it could be crushes that are revealed. Always revelations come out of the moon here. So someone expresses themselves or reveals their feelings towards you. Uh, Knight of Cups after that, we have the Nine of Pentacles. That's your own energies. That's being rewarded, the stamina card. Knight of Swords, making decisions, okay? Being clear about something, using your logic. Seven of Pentacles, again, some of you are just working hard uh, for the coins. Could be still indicative of a pay raise. It's a card of options. And then we have the Star card, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming uh, manifested. Oh, yes, the star card. And then we finish off with the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so there we go. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, um, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles. So, yes, Nine of Swords, however, is in your shadow. This is a card of conflict. It could be inner conflict. It could be external conflict. This is a card that always warrants lies, betrayals, uh, feeling ashamed. It could be that you... Uh, or the Capricorn is needing some sort of relief and then you're seeking relief in other areas, uh, which could be, or, uh, you know, the use of alcohol, the, the use of drugs, weed smoking or whatever. Something is conflicting you or, could, you know, potentially conflicting you that has yet to be resolved. It may be uh, the kind of conflict that involves other people. Um Oftentimes I pick up with the nine of swords that, you know, I don't diagnose, but it, you know, with the addictions or the the relief that you're seeking someone could be just on you know prescription um medication you know for anxiety and or depression um so yeah feeling the shame feeling like you are almost backstabbed but backstabbing is the ten of swords but close enough okay someone betrays you that could be family that could be friends that could be romantic partners um but if it's, uh, you know, anything that uh, relates to uh, unresolved conflict from your recent past, it's best to bring that energy up, Capricorn, and try to alleviate that uh, energy of the Nine of Swords, okay? And you'll start to feel better. If the person involved um, that created or, you know, helped create the conflict for you is not available, I always say, you know, just, you know, have that conversation with yourself, forgive yourself, and then forgive them, and then you'll start to feel a release of the Nine of Swords. It doesn't pay to hold on to anything uh, in terms of grudges or, you know, um, conflict, um, because it just ruins your present you know, your present day moment. So you don't want to live like uh, every day that you're feeling conflicted um, because you have yet to address a situation um, that's still bothering you, okay? All right, so Nine of Swords here in the shadow represents uh, Air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right, so we're going to talk about the star card first, the Major Arcana, and that's about hopes, wishes, dreams, 
uh, becoming fulfilled and manifested. So whatever it is that you are hoping for, wishing for, uh, possibly praying for, then, you know, that aspect of the energy may, you know, pan out for some of you this week. This is um, uh, social networking, like I said before. So you could be, um, you know, spending quite a bit of time on social media. And that could be through, um, you know, building up alliances um, involving friends. It could be online dating. Uh, it could be almost anything. Business. Uh, but the star card is very hopeful. Um, I just always say when the star shows up that you have to make sure that your energy is not scattered here, there, and everywhere because the scars, excuse me, the stars, not the scars, the stars are scattered in the universe. So I think in terms of the stars being energy and then, you know, you having to be here, there, and everywhere. Just stay focused on one or two things this week and you should be fine. Um, let's go to the moon. The moon is about revelations. It's about intuition. So definitely pay uh, attention to your intuition, Capricorn. It will help guide you to make the right choices and decisions that you need to, to keep you on your path. We have to be careful about our emotions too, because uh, in this particular case, because the court card, the Knight of Cups followed the uh, moon, you could be in in the form of expressing yourself deeply for someone. Um, I always like to think it's the energy coming towards you because I am doing your reading that someone goes into detail with expressing their emotions towards you. Now, again, this is an open general reading, so this could be family, this could be definitely romantic partners, and it could be uh, friends as well. Uh, just make sure that whatever you're doing, that you're trying to balance out your uh, emotions as much as you can, because the moon has a tendency to send us up emotionally real high, and then also to send us down emotionally uh, too low, feel, feeling like we are a uh, melancholy or feeling the blues or whatever, and we don't want that. So you want to strike a balance in the middle. Okay, the emperor, no matter what's going on for you this week, Capricorn, you're going to be in control. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you got four uh, major canons or arcanas here. Wow. All right, so uh, you're going to be in control. This is a card of authority. So, you know, it's a card of uh, boss. So you may be thrown into a position of leadership or you may become a boss, um, promoted to a boss. I always say the emperor um, could represent someone's father who is on the other side, but no longer here. They may or may not have worked in, um, you know, law and enforcement. I could be reading for some Capricorns who do, uh, but they're coming across as being you know, characteristically the same, you know, they were possibly, you know, very authoritative, um, you know, whatever I say goes and that's it. They're just here to acknowledge, um, you, if there is a Capricorn out here who relates to what I'm saying, uh, or, or can connect to what I'm saying. But I feel that for you though, you're going to be in control. Now, if I was reading these cards in a reverse, I always mentioned that the reversal of the emperor is you losing control and then trying to manipulate people and or situations. But you're not going to go about that this week. You're in control of yourself, ain't really worried about other people, and it has nothing to do with manipulating situations either. Okay, so the emperor here represents Aries, the other fire signs, Leo, and Sagittarius. So the sun here following or proceeding is the happiness card. It's the yes answer to all questions. So it's my health card. So some of you may be just going through um, routine medical checkups this week. Um, it may be involving x-rays of all kind. Uh, it may not be you, um, but it may be somebody that you know who is having, you know, um, Cancer treatments, radiation, chemotherapy, but all is fine. The sun never dimmers that type of energy. So you're feeling, you know, energized this week. You're feeling vibrant this week, childlike this week. This is a relationship card. Again, we have the Knight of Cups, so it could be new connections romantically, definitely platonic. Um, you know, you could be the Capricorn that works in the healthcare industry, if I didn't, you know, mention that before. Um, you could be the Capricorn that lives in Florida or um, California, as I always mention when the show, when the sun shows. But it's something to be very, very exciting about or happy about. Okay. 
again, we don't have the Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, Eight of Wands, but it still could be something that puts a smile on your face. So the Eight of Swords opened this up. So there could be some sort of challenges going on uh, with a break of communication uh, with someone. Now, the Eight of Swords here, however, cross mirrors the uh, Ace of Pentacles. So it could be co-workers that you're having some sort of friction with or some sort of challenges with. It could also be family members and um, that breaking communication from people who are at a distance who may be connected to you. And that could be romantic, platonic, and or family. But, you know, when it showed up for another sign, I just said, make sure, you always have to make sure that whatever it is that you're dealing with or, you know, that's presenting some sort of mental challenges for you, Capricorn, that it is actually something that is real and not something that you're just playing out like a movie. And then, you know, we always... Uh, put an end result to those movies and then we find out later on what we were worried about, couldn't sleep about, concerned about, biting our nails about, never pans out or never comes out to be what we just stressed over about, okay? So just be careful here, you know, just be very, very careful. Again, because I made that uh, tie with the uh, Ace of uh, Pentacles, that it could be co-workers, well, we have the blessings of the Nine of Pentacles here, right? Nine of Pentacles, and by the way, the Eight of Swords is air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, is the card of stamina, it's the card of rewarding yourself. Again, but still with this combination, it could be having some sort of friction with co-workers, not getting along with somebody or several people with where you work. Um, if it's not that, then it's just, you know, you having to um, pat yourself on the back, be proud of what you've done and trying to hold something together or worked hard uh, at. It could have been in your workplace environment. It could be involving your relationship, but you're deserving of some sort of uh, reward. And if you are the um, Capricorn that is thinking about buying something, <clears throat> excuse me, in terms of big uh, purchases or, you know, ticket items, this is the card that warrants that. So digging into your savings, 401k and retirement, purchasing whatever it is that you want, and you're not to feel guilty about it if you should happen to do that. Um, this still would, um, you know, be the, the card of uh, substantial pay raises. Someone could be getting a promotion to a higher level or a higher pay status. I oftentimes get financial independence. Maybe someone is struggling uh, with the eight of swords over top and trying to achieve some sort of fi uh, financial independence where you think that you're getting ahead and then all of a sudden something happens to set you back. So that might be a message for somebody. But anyway, the nine of coins, uh, nine of pentacles is a very beautiful card and uh, it represents your energy Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. So the knight of cups here, okay, is the... Um, no, nope, we have the Knight of Swords. Let's go to the Knight of Swords. And this is about taking action, making moves, being clear about something, gaining uh, information, uh, ready to strike. Okay. Usually the Knight is the Knight that comes in charging. Uh, so there is something that you're about to do this week, um, Capricorn, and you should be all right, whatever it is. It could be work related matters. It sits in between two of your own energies, the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. So it may be having to. Um, do some work related matters or it could be uh something to do with your finances but whatever it is uh it's going to be positive okay because you're not going to be tripped up or tripping about whatever actions or decisions you want to make um based on emotions all right so uh following the knight of swords that represents air gemini libra and aquarius the seven of coins i mentioned that you could be just focused on your work someone still could be getting a pay raise um, you know, paying attention to the details of your work, working hard for those coins. Option cards, so there could be other options that opens up in other areas of your life, Capricorn, and that's favorable too. The Ace of Pentacles here is the last card. It's always the start of something new, so this could be investments. It mirrors the Nine of uh, Pentacles, so I oftentimes read the Ace of uh, Pentacles as an infinite amount of money that could be achieved or received. OK, starting a business, starting to save. Uh, it still could be the job offer. It still could be the promotion. Um, so this is a very positive card here uh, representing your own energy. All right. So uh, Knight of Cups here representing Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Again, it's just a, about relationships, feeling good emotionally. I don't know if this is Hercules or not, but he has his arms up and he feels all powerful, powerful when it comes to his emotions. He knows what he wants. He's going after what he wants. And he has a lot to offer. Um, 
He's, you know, very caring, he or she, because the roles could be reversed. They're very caring, you know, nurturing and loving. So it could be new um, platonic and romantic situations in terms of connections this week for some of you. Also, too, because it is a very positive card, it also could be, you know, because it does mirror that... Um, Eight of Swords. It could be the break of silence or the communication with someone who is at a distance. That could be the family member, romantic partner, or the friend. All right, so that's what I have for you. So you have a lot of interesting energies here. It's more positive than it is negative. So, you know, always take what resonates, leave the rest alone. All right, so let's get into the Kipper cards here to see exactly what's going on. And don't forget, Capricorn, you got four powerful major arcanas here. All right, so no matter what's going on here, you have... Uh, in favor of those positive arcanas, the sun, the emperor, the moon, and the star. I forgot that, you know, the star um, relates to psychic abilities. You could meet, also meet somebody famous. It's always a possibility. And did I say this star represents Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra? All right, so let's see. What's going on here with Kipper and what they want to tell us regarding your energies for this week? We're going to start off with the first card, and it's the mature female. So it's usually the, uh, the mature female can be taken almost any way in terms of messages. So it could be someone new coming in. It could represent your mother, your grandmother. But whoever it is, this person is mature. It could be a female boss. Right. Following the uh, mature female, we have message of concern. That usually is related to receiving some sort of news that could be concerning. Um, because it shows up here for you, Capricorn, I will connect that energy to the Eight of uh, Swords. You know, worried, nervous, uh, concerned about uh, a person. All right. So a message of uh, concern may be received and may not be, you know, connected to a person. Maybe a concern of some other matter going on with you. Next is the house. The house is the house of security. It's a house of belonging. Someone could be, you know, purchasing a home. The nine of pentacles is here. That could be the down payment. Someone could be moving to a different uh, house, renting. It could be apartment. could be a condo, townhome, you name it. But you find safety and security within the structure of this building, whatever it is. Okay? So the house is what it is. Strong foundation. And then we have the uh, official person. Uh, when the official person shows up here, I will connect that with the emperor. That could be possibly having to deal with someone who wears a suit or uh, is connected to law and enforcement. Could be a judge. It could be a lawyer. Somebody who is official. Okay? So you may have some sort of contact and communication with someone who is official. Uh, shadow energy is mature man. It's the same thing as the mature widow. Um, yeah, widow. It's the same energy as the mature female. All right. So there we have it. All right. So this is what I have. And that's what Kipper wanted to add to your uh, energies here. So let's just throw some um, quick money, career, and finance cards for you. See what's going on here. Mm. all right capricorn your first message is growth and it says here expect good news and money matters ace of coins ace of pentacles a raise or a new job offer money will soon start flowing uh, to your business promising opportunities are awaiting next card up for you in the message is a uh, caution mm, conflict or contradiction use caution when making financial decisions careful not to overspend on wants instead of needs uh, more going out than coming in next message here for you is a uh, comfort and it says uh, though you're not exactly rich you will be living comfortably uh, you're entering the most uh, comfortable period of your life. Your finances are in a state of balance. Shadow energy here for you is um, unethical. Okay, unethical. Unethical behavior can lead to some uh, serious consequences. Someone is stealing or lying to you about money. 
don't sacrifice your morals for money that is your final message here uh capricorn and this is it for you in terms of the week's energies please give this video a thumbs up i'd appreciate that uh be well this week be safe this week keep smiling for me and um i will talk to you real soon take care bye